We're still a few days behind on our timeline because of the roof. But now, the crew is roughing in the plumbing and electrical. And some of the drywall is going on the ceiling. It's two weeks in, and I want to meet with my project manager, Dell because I want to go over the design for the main suite and kitchen where we're putting so much of our investment. All right, do a little check-in here. I'm thinking about getting the sandblaster guy to come in here and sandblast this, depending on the price. Do you want to paint it or do you want to keep it this color? I want him to seal it. Seal it raw? Mm-hmm. This wood paneling is a really cool vintage touch to the house. Uh, it's a little bit dark, but what I'm gonna do is take a high gloss polyurethane, and I'm gonna run it over. That's gonna let light reflect off of it and create a more warm feel. It'll only cost me about $250 in labor, so definitely worth the money. I'm thinking about just losing this window okay. and putting the vanity right here, and that way I feel like you've created the most space. A Let's double or a single? Let's do a double. Okay. This is gonna be a sweet, okay. a sweet main, main bathroom, so let's just go for it. Okay. If we're gonna go for it, let's go for it, you know? Yeah. So the lowest part of this is going to be repairing this water damage and the yeah. floor here. We talked about on my, on my initial walkthrough, I said that, you know, it's raining in the house and like we wondered if the subfloor would be affected and it was. I didn't realize we had to rip out the entire kitchen floor due to water damage. So now all I'm seeing is money just pouring into that hole. In order to be ready, Dell called in some favors and got a whole crew of carpenters to do the work. To reschedule an inspection could take up to two weeks, and that's time that we just don't have. The inspector is a city employee that makes sure our work is up to code. The plumbing and the electric are finally finished at Canoe House, but the electrical inspector still has to come out and sign off on them before we can start laying the tile and really get to work. He was fine with our fixes to the floor, but had issues with the rafters. What's going on there? Sit on, please. Well, I'm feeling about bad wood now. Yes, sir. We've got some bad wood that needs to be replaced. I'd like to see it replaced to make sure that when they do repair or replace it, it don't interfere with the electrical. So you're going to need to kind of tweak it a little bit. Let's put a plug in there. Okay. Of course, with my luck, the inspector says that we have to install one more outlet above the fireplace before he'll pass us on inspection, even though there's no code that says that, and he just thinks that a TV should go there. So he apparently went to interior design school, and I don't know about it. Well, a pretty decent job, but not quite good enough. It's going to be a fail for today. He said this is a high-value area, so it should be a plug for a TV. So he's making us put a plug there for a TV. I love when inspectors start designing homes. Having to install an extra outlet above the fireplace when I didn't want one there is fairly bizarre to me. Like, in my personal house, there's not even one up there. I don't yeah. think, I don't believe in it. Right. So yeah. now I'm just gonna have an ugly plug hanging Yeah, that's what, that's what he wants. Unreal. We really can't do anything until we replace the rafters the way he wants and install a new plug. Then we have to get him back out to reinspect. We basically have to stand down until we pass inspection, but I have an idea that will keep some of the crew busy in the meantime. All right, I got another thing for you. I want you to keep an open mind. Okay. One of my favorite things about flipping is repurposing things that we find in homes. That's one of the things that makes Apollo really unique, is that we don't just do box store finishes everywhere. One man's trash is another man's treasure. What do you think about turning this into like a bookshelf type deal? Like cutting it, cutting it to maybe like seven and a half feet, mm -hmm. and then just, just spraying the back black. You can take all the wood out. To stand vertical? Yeah, to stand vertical. And then doing a little light in the top. The canoe house has these boats that were left over, and I think it'd be really cool to turn them into some piece of furniture that we could use in the house. It would pay tribute to the history of the home, and it would separate us from anything else in our market. You could never buy anything else like this in a store, and it always gets me excited. It could be doable just putting the shelves in, because this is what, fiberglass? Fiberglass, baby. I don't hate it. I just got to figure out how doable it is. All right. I'm going to see about the, the bookshelf idea. Luckily, we've got two, so we can try something. That's we don't right. like it. We'll try with the other then one. we mess this up. We just do it with the other one. Yeah, that's right.